good evening everyone i hope you are all doing well i am also fine so today i am going to show you how you can install uh, wordpress in aws and then use amazon acs for sending out emails so let's get started uh, i have already set up an instance so i'm going to connect to that instance and then what i will do is i will uh, download the latest wordpress and then set up the website for the domain so the domain name is uh, kitchentips.xyz okay so i make the screen a bit bigger okay go to cd for top 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 ls so let's make a directory kitchen tips kitchen tips okay so uh, i have created the directory let's unzip the wordpress so i have already downloaded the wordpress into latest.zip and what I have downloaded is from going to wordpress.org and then if you click get wordpress then you will see the download link here it is latest.zip maybe I download it from here again because it's a bit outdated so rm okay let me download it again so do wget i will use wget to download the file okay once i have downloaded it let's uh, unzip it so do unzip let us start zip it will extract the zip file into a folder called wordpress Now I'm going to rename this sudo mv wordpress to uh, kitchen tips and let's see go to no, sorry uh, kitchen tips oh yeah the wordpress okay Never mind. Uh, let's clear this screen. LS minus LA. It seems WordPress WordPress. Okay. I'm going to change the file permissions. So do ch1 minus r. R is Apache. W W W. Oh, sorry. So you can see I have changed the owner to Apache and the group to www. So that's the WordPress directory. Now what I have to do is to, uh, I already have installed here Nginx and PHP 8.0. If you don't know how to install this, I have some other tutorials, which is very helpful for you to uh, install PHP 8. Now I have one example here that is how to create a virtual host in nginx that's pretty simple um, let's copy this put it in a notepad okay so what it says listen 80 server name uh, we need to give the server name. This is the server name actually. And then it will redirect to this. Okay, this is the redirection for www.kitchentips.xyz to without www. That's fine. Then listen 80 server name. Let's give this server name here kitchentips.xyz. And here we have to give the actual folder where www kitchen tips x wordpress 
so index that's character set okay so here i have um, maybe it's let's turn this off Okay, so uh, this is the server block. Apart from these lines, we need to also add uh, gzip compression. And we need to add expires. And we need to add location. Okay. So let's copy this and go to our EC2 instance. reboot the nginx okay so let me now point this domain to that uh, IP address Then what we are going to do is we will try to see if we can browse the site. Yes, we can browse the site. We need to now set up SSL because this is not secure and uh, that's not good. We need to set up SSL here. So the SSL installation is done. I have to refresh this page. And now it's showing the proper values. Okay, let's go to this. Let's go. So I need to create the database. Uh, for that, I need to use MySQL Workbench.
Okay, so uh, our database creation is done and I have provided the database con credentials. Now let's run the installation. So let's see, this is the password. XYZ. Let's install the WordPress. Log into the WordPress. Okay. So um, the WordPress installation is done. We are going to add a new plugin here. settings so now we need to provide the ACS access keys and the region is I think that's Singapore So I pause a minute to give the access key and secret key. Okay, so I have given the uh, access key. That means I have created an IAM user which has full permission to ACS and then I have given the API key and secret. This is the next stage. I click to verify the domain. So click uh, verify and kitchentips.xyz, that's the correct. And let's complete verification. Okay, so um, I need to add this DNS record for this domain. Let me copy this and add it here, txt. So then I need to copy this value. Okay, Let's save it. Okay. Next, configure WP of float. Um, configure WP of load SES. There are some configuration values here. So. Um, let me put this as info at kitchen at tips.xyz. Same for uh, this part and same for this as well. It's important that you need to use the same domain name that has been verified. So if my domain is I'm going to send email using kitchen tips.xyz, then I need to put return path as info at kitchen tips.xyz. Now this part can be different like admin or support anything, but this domain, it needs to be same as the verified domain. Otherwise the email process will not work. So let's uh, save and complete the setup. Um, let me check if the domain is verified or not. Okay, the domain is verified, kitchentips.xyz. So now I can turn this on, send email using SES, frequency, monthly, recipient site admins, okay, that's fine, region, reply to, there is also this info. Save changes. send test email let's send a test email here 
let's say um, let me send an email to let's say this one message sent so that means my configuration is correct and email working email is working fine and if i go to my mailbox now then i will see that there is an email from uh, there it is so there is an email oh, it can be in the spam folder yeah here it is okay because this domain is new probably uh, this yandex mail thinks that it's a, a spam but this is not so you get an email and uh, if you click not spam then it will go to not spam and it will display in your normal mailbox so that being said uh, this is a great example to sh to show how you can use ses in aws so ses has a limit of sending out up to fifty thousand emails per day which is quite a big amount if you consider for a normal website so i use all my websites ses and it's still within false the free tier so what we learned today how to set up uh, wordpress and then how to install the plugin offload ses lite and how to set up uh, ses for wordpress using api keys domain verifications etc this plugin is all free there is no paid version is required everything works for free and you don't need to purchase the paid plugin however if you purchase a paid plugin there are some additional features but that's not required for this tutorial you can continue with the free plugin as well so thank you for watching my video and have a nice day bye bye